This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video is part of our Google Chrome web browser series. And in this video, we'll talk to you about the different options available through the Chrome menu. We'll show you how to personalize your Chrome web browser using themes, how to clear your browsing data, as well as uh, the browsing history, and how to access that history, and how to manage and access Chrome extensions. Let's get started. To access the Chrome menu, you need to click on the three lines that are located in the top right-hand corner of your browser window. Choose this and select Settings to see the options that are available for customizing Chrome. In the Chrome Settings, which is showing here, you'll see there's also some other options to hop around to different areas within the Chrome browser menu. We'll take a look at those in a moment. You'll notice that uh, you have some choices here. It shows you what you're signed in on uh, currently. So if you were trying to disconnect a Google account, for example, if you signed into Chrome accidentally on a shared computer, you may want to access this screen to disconnect your Google account so it doesn't uh, remain on the computer after you leave. Um, on startup, these are choices where you can select which pages you want to open. I actually can set a specific page and choose it here, or I can just do a new tab page. Um, you'll notice that my web browser has um, sort of some theme associated with it. So to do that, you choose under Appearance, choose Get Themes, and you'll be presented with a number of themes that are available that you can add to change the look of your Chrome web browser. So under themes, and then you can locate one that you like. And what will happen is it will change. I can say add to Chrome. And it will change the background and such of your Chrome web browser window so that it's customized. So you can see how that just changed my theme here. And I can reset it to default if I change my mind. This is also where I can set my search engine. It uh, typically will default to the Google search engine, but you can change that. And there is also an area here where I can manage people. That's part of another tutorial video on managing users. Under the advanced settings, I can click here. And under advanced settings, one of the important things that is available here is this clear browsing data. This is a really important function to be aware of, especially if you use a Chromebook. Um, sometimes when things are behaving in a glitchy manner and I uh, suspect that it might be because of um, issues with the browser, then clearing the browsing data will remove any cookies and other types of metadata that might be interfering with the way that a web page is displaying. So clear browsing data is an important thing to be aware of. When you do hit clear browsing data, typically I choose from the beginning of the time. It sounds like a nuclear option, but not to worry. The only thing that's going to happen is it's going to ask you to log back into your Google account, and it will remove um, cookies and other site-related data. Um, you can select or deselect passwords, so if you maybe accidentally had it remember a password and you didn't want to do that, you could choose this and clear the browsing data. Another option that you might want to be aware of here is that um, from this menu, so over on the left-hand side, you'll see I have History, there's Extensions. If I click on this, I'm able to see what Chrome extensions I have installed, and I can delete them if I want. So if I scroll through, you'll notice some of these are grayed out and others are active. So the ones that are grayed out are things that I don't have enabled, but I have installed. So if I wanted to enable them, I could check this box, and then it will add it to my browser window. If I want to get rid of it altogether, I would hit the trash can, and it will remove that so it's not any longer a choice on my menu. So enable will cause the extension to appear, and I can cause it to disappear but still be available to me at a later date. It's important to um, manage your Chrome extensions. You don't want to have too many running at the same time. 
Um, so what I recommend is actually using a Chrome extension called Extensity to actually manage all of your Chrome extensions. So Extensity does what this screen will do, but it does so much more easily. So you'll notice if I click Extensity as my Chrome extension up here, I have all of these different Chrome extensions that I can click to toggle on and I can click to toggle off when I'm not using them. And this allows me to avoid going into the browser menu and under extensions to manage my extensions toggling on and off. And that is called Extensity. That concludes our tutorial on the Chrome menu. For this and other tutorial videos, including more tutorial videos on the Chrome web browser, check us out online at teachingforward.net.